Olivia? She's not here, sir. Right. Master Philip and Miss Olivia moved out yesterday. I am aware of that, Lloyd, but I heard voices and I thought... Well, must have been the maids. Uh, I have uh, some legal documents and I need her address. Do you know where she might be? I'll be happy to take them over for you, sir. No, that won't be necessary. Matter of fact, why don't you go and find your cohort, Alexandra? Go. To do today. Okay, I have to vacuum the living room, mop the bathroom floor, iron, uh, do laundry, and make a fabulous romantic dinner. Fabulous. Hello. Hi, I was hoping it would be you. Oh, you went to the zoo with Zach? Cool. No, stay and have lunch with him. I'll be fine. He... Yeah, could you just, could you hurry how much you drop him off? Because I have a surprise for you. Well, if I tell you, it won't be a surprise. <laughs> okay, I'll see you then. I love you too. Okay, well, I better get busy or it won't be a surprise. How about... How about you? Wait, wait, wait! Ooh. Ow! Oh! What has your pay? Mm. Ben, I am so scared. What if this guy... What if he's just, you know, Shh, psycho? Nothing or, is gonna happen or what, what to your aunt. What if he gets aunt. sick of all... Nothing is gonna happen to your aunt. All right? Frank and Buzz are both down there. Harley is a cop. She's been trained to deal with this kind of situation. Do you know right? how many cops die on the job every year? Too many. I feel terrible about this. I want to stay here with you, but... Ramona Hendon could spend thousands on you. But she won't wait forever. You know what? Don't worry about Marina, okay? I'll look out for her. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be fine. All right, look. Just take it. You can think about me while you're at work. Right. Are you sure you don't yes, want to stay here with I'm me? Yes, I'm sure. We're going to be fine. Look, I know my aunt. She is really tough, and she is going to be just fine. Go. Get out of okay. here. Bye. Take care of her. That is the last lie you're ever going to tell. Cooper! Cooper. an officer down. We have an officer down. Oh, well, Alan, 
You should be in bed. The doctors want you to rest. I know what you're trying to do, Alexandra. You and Philip are conspiring to destroy me. Yes, you're right, Alan. We're, we're holding these secret meetings and we're devising all kinds of ways to drive you absolutely insane. You stole my company and Philip stole my wife. Well, your ex-wife, dear. And she only left you because of your bright and cheery personality. Yes, and she left with my son, with my grandchildren. She left with everyone. Well, not everyone, darling. I... I could never leave you, Alan, no matter how insufferable you may become. And Philip will be back. He'll come to his senses. Yes, and you know, every... ever since you stepped foot in this city, my life has begun to unravel. First, it was the company. Then the house, my wife, my son. Tell me, what else are you planning on taking from me? Come on, darling, you're sounding downright paranoid. I know what this is about, Alexandra. It's like the game we played when we were children. The last one who's standing wins. No, Alan, this is no game. I, I want to do what's best for you, for the family. Yes, of course you do. I promise you one day you'll understand. Don't count on it. I'll tell you what I would like. I would now like some tea. Would you be so kind as to make me some of that tea? Of course I will, dear. I know exactly how you like it. your eyes and vision your husband coming home to an oasis. Can you do that? No. Well, I am going to show you how to create a tropical paradise, a romantic getaway right in your own home. Today, we're going to make contiki napkin do that, Peggy. out of cardboard toilet paper cores. All you need is scissors, glue, material, any old shirt or blouse will do. Then, we're going to make an edible centerpiece to go with it. A sumptuous, tantalizing array of cucumbers, fruit, and parsley nestled in a melon love boat or life raft, depending on what type of cook you are. Damn Naturally, good Thank you. we'll want to decorate our napkin holders. I use beans, I glitter, pine needles, whatever I have around. The object is to make your table look luscious, seductive, so that man of yours will want to drop his anchor and stay a while. Ready to begin? First, we cut the material to fit around. Peggy, you gotta slow down. Course. Slow down, Peggy. Simple enough. Frank! Oh my God! You're clear of the area. Randy, get the table out of here. Help me with Jimmy. Help me with the house. Move it over here. I need backup. I need backup immediately. Oh my God. Uh, Is this? Uh, this is me. Harley, it's me. It's your brother. Hey, Come hey. here, honey. Yeah, it's me. Right. You're gonna be okay, honey. I promise. I'm here, Rick. Here, Rick, help her. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Uh, huh? Can you open your eyes? Uh, okay, I need to secure the area. All right, I need somebody at the door. Nobody comes in. You got that, Peters? I need you to check the closets and all the other rooms. Jennings, get the wagon. Get it immediately. This is very rapid. I'm getting Ivy going. Okay, what I need to bring this woman wide Rick, open. What does that mean? She's going to shock. You want to help? Get the hell out of the way. She's gonna be keep going here. Yeah. Quickly. Oh, I'm pressing the wound. All right, somebody call the hospital. Frank! Let him know Frank! we need a team. Why? He's okay. Let him in. Let him in. Where is Did you get the make on the weapon, Frank? Yeah, we did. It looks like Harley's gun. The must have grabbed it. I thought I had him, Frank. I never even heard a shot. You thought you had him? I gave you a direct order to stay away, to back off. Right, Frank, save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Just stay once. We're going to move her soon. Okay, I'm coming with you, all right? God, the hell you are. <laughs> Frank, you got something to say to me. You say it at the hospital. It's a all right? Pressure on the Come on, let's oh, go. Help. Thank you. Thank you. 
everyone's gonna be okay, okay, can I hit? But Rick is here, he's gonna patch up like you. We're gonna patch up like you. One, two, three. Two, three. <laughs> You're very brave, babe. You're very, very brave. All right, you saved a woman and a child. You're gonna give you a medal for that, and I'm gonna pin the medal on you myself at the ceremony. All right, just, just be strong. Don't try to touch. I love you, baby. I love you. Just be tough, baby. Just be tough. Let's get her in the ambulance. Get another light going. Let's go. Move it. Stack. Come on. Let's go. One, two, three. Made to order. Is this made to order? Hi. Yeah, my name is Olivia Spencer, and um, I need somebody who can cook, clean, iron, and make, um, you know, really cute little tiki napkin holder things. And I need them now. You can? That's great. No, that's fine. Um, I'll, um, I'll be at 1430 Harborview. Yeah, no, I'll be here. Thank you. That was quick. Oh. Well, I was hoping you would be home. Uh, I'm not. Okay. Uh, uh, Olivia, don't be embarrassed. You look fine. What? Alan, what do you want? Well, you forgot this and uh, no beautiful woman should be without her jewelry and i want you to have it thank you thank you As soon as they know something, he'll call. I just hope he doesn't try to be a big hero and step in the line of fire for anyone. You really don't like Harley that much, do you? <sighs> Not enough to s sacrifice my brother. I don't like anyone that much. I know what you mean. Shane can be annoying sometimes, but I couldn't really imagine not having him around. You know, every time my mom was gone, my dad was always at work, so basically Shane and I were together most of the time. It wasn't my choice, but it was by default. You're different than I thought you'd be. Yeah, so are you. I'm just sorry that it took a disaster like this for us to realize that. Oh. Hello? Nikki? What happened? Were you there? Harley got shot? What? Oh, my God. How bad is it? Okay. All, all right. Okay. Bye. Wait, what did he say? Harley got shot. He didn't say how bad it was, but I'm going to go to Cedar's yeah, hospital. Yeah, I'm going to go with you. No, you guys stay here and hold no. on the floor. Laura, I think place. somebody needs to watch this place. We'll call you guys as soon as we find out anything, okay? Okay. <sighs> Harley can't die. She just can't. She, she just... won't. She won't. Yeah, because she's really tough. She is really tough, right? Exactly. Then go to work. I really need him here. Really, you know he would have gone anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I just hope whatever he's doing is worth it. Ramona. It's Ben Reed. Well, hello, Benjamin. I'm glad you decided to keep our appointment. Yeah, I, I, I hope you know it's not that I don't find you attractive or desirable because i do i mean you're, you're very desirable would you pour us some wine yeah it's just that uh i never really see myself as as well a paid companion i have goals and ambitions and in my life i would be interested if you weren't loaded with potential wine you seem a little nervous <sighs> i am um, you know, I just checked my watch, and we're going to be late. Uh, the lunch reservations. It's been canceled. Oh. I took the liberty of ordering in. 
We can share it afterward. After? Just how ambitious are you, Ben? Very. Don't tell me. Show me. I just wanted to know that I'm here, okay? Take her across the street and get him some coffee. She's gonna make it. We gotta get her in search so we can stop the training, but I cannot be interrupted. I just, cannot I don't, be interrupted. I don't, I'm gonna stay here. I'm not gonna okay, let not Jude going grow up without his mother. Leave and let me do my job. Let's go. I just want you to know that I'm outside and make me wait outside. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Neither are you. Are we clear on that? Are we clear on that, baby? Come on. Come on. Come on. Hang in there, Frank. Hang on, hang on, baby. She's gonna be fine. Don't try to talk. We love you, sweet love. Charlie, what's wrong with you? Rick! What's the matter, Rick? Her blood pressure's rolling. 90 pounds in a row. Clear the room. Clear the room. What does that mean? Clear the room. I need some hand drills right away. Ivy's wide open. Where's Rick? Where's Rick? Where's Rick? Who called the surgical console? We will continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Alan, here's your tea and it's just the way. Alan. Have you seen my brother? Not for quite some time. Oh, well, check his room. I just came from there. Not there. Fine. Well, check the garage, check the grounds. My brother shouldn't be wandering off anywhere unsupervised. <sighs> I know what I'm doing. If anything happened to Alan, I would never forgive myself. Alan, thank you. Really, for dropping this by, I... May I come in? I, just, just, just for a few minutes, that's all. Just for a minute, yeah. that's it. Okay. As you can see, the place is a mess, and so am I. You never looked lovelier. Aren't you going to try these on? I remember when I got them for you. You loved them so much. Alan, uh, Allow me. Uh, turn around. Okay. Turn I around. just no, don't. Please, please, please. 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 Okay, fine. Then you turn have to around. go. I don't really feel right about keeping these, okay? They were meant for you. Just like I was meant for you. Oh, don't do this. Please don't. It's true. We love each other, Olivia. We will always love each other until death do us part. It wasn't death. It was divorce. <laughs> Divorce. You could always make me laugh. You think this is funny? I know what you're doing. This is a test, isn't it? You want to see how big of a settlement you would get in case something did happen like a divorce. Well, I will never leave you because I love you too oh, much. Gosh, I have had a really hard day and this isn't going to work, okay? This is my home now. I live here with your son. Son, I, I, I don't have Yes, a son. you do. You and he are fighting, but he's your son, and he's also the father of my baby. Your baby? 
You're pregnant? No. No, I'm not pregnant. Oh, well, that's good. I mean, I, I want us to have a family, but we have so much traveling to do before we start our family. We can start it when we get back from San Cristobal. You're really not faking it, are you? Faking, faking what? Alex and Philip said that you were acting... God, what happened to you? The same thing that always happens to me when I get close to you. I want to get in the nearest bed and, and make... Listen, right. um, I have an idea. Why, why don't we go out for a while? Why don't we go for a ride, just the two of us? Okay. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. And then when we return, I will order a big bottle of champagne. Yes. Great. And remind you of why you married me. Nikki. I'm so worried about you. Is Harley okay? They're working on it. They're working on it. Look, have you eaten? Come on, let's go down to the cafeteria. No, I don't get really some know. Food. I can't eat anything right now, okay? I gotta stay here just in case. So you go if yeah. you want to eat. It's fine. It's okay if I stay yeah, here? Yeah, do whatever you want to do. Buzz, are you okay? Can I get you anything? No, oh, thanks. Marina? Yeah, she's she's holding down the Ford Company. Um, what did the doctors have to say? Not a lot. But she's gonna be okay? She better be. Excuse me. Hello? Mara, honey, is that you? We have a bad connection. Mom, where are you? I'm still in Vienna. I'm seeing that specialist in the paranormal. And surprise, surprise, I'm not a witch or crazy. Wait, there's something I have to tell you. Honey, you're going to have to wait a second. Have you by any chance seen Harley, or do you know where she is? Because I can't seem to get her out of my mind. I, I feel like she's in some sort of trouble, or she's going to be, and I need you to find her so that I... Mom, wait, how did you know about that? Oh, no. Okay, there's been a hostage situation, and there was a shootout, and Harley... What's she doing, Pop? She's hanging in. She's gonna make it, Dad. Trust me, she's gonna make it. No thanks to you. I was just trying to get her out of there, Frank. Now, what you were trying to do is be the hero. No, that is not true. Frank, my brother was trying to save your sister. It's all right, it's all right. Look, Frank... You do whatever you want to do, okay? Because I don't care. I only care about your sister. And if something happens to her, God forbid, she doesn't make it, you can take my gun and shoot me in my head, okay? No. Look, I know you're worried about Harley, but like my sister said, the best thing you can do right now is just to stay here and take care of things. Okay? Yeah, except I keep breaking dishes. Don't worry about the restaurant right now. I was I was hoping you could help me out. You know, practice my pitching, maybe strengthen my arm up a little bit. You want me to play catch? Unless you'd rather play with your dollies. Okay, haha. -ha. Very funny, Shane. Just give me the ball. All right, don't scare me now. I'll try not to. Right here. <clears throat> what was that? What was that? You pitched like a okay, girl. Okay, okay, just give me the ball baseball. again. Give it to me. Let me see your hands. Why? Because the size of your hands determines how many fingers you put on the ball. Okay. Okay? Your hands are nice. They're really nice. Yeah, maybe for somebody who, like, scrubs counters all day or... Come on, don't put yourself down like that. When somebody gives you a compliment, you're supposed to say thank you. Thank you. Now show me how to throw a curveball. All right. <clears throat> so, your second and middle finger go on the seam right here like this, okay? Okay. Like that? Yeah. 
Now, to get the spin, you're going to snap your wrist down like this. Like that, not up, like this. All the time keeping pressure with your middle finger, OK? So when you release, it's like, like that, OK? Let's try it again. How did that feel? Okay, let's play ball. Guys back here, come on. Ow! Ow! Look at you, you. You tricked me. You know how to pitch. Yeah, like a boy. No, better than a boy. Stop I love better than a boy. It. Would you hand me my other stocking, Ben? It wasn't like taking castor oil, no, was it? You're great. Amazing. For an old lady? <laughs> There's nothing old about you. Well, thanks, but I think I'll have to double up on my Pilates sessions to keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, next week, same time, same place? Today was, um... No, you, you know what it was, but as to making it a regular thing, I... I... You afraid I'll corrupt you? No, no, it's not, no. Well, that's good, because I had an incredible time today, and I would love to make it a regular occurrence. But that's up to you. I don't want you to feel pressured. So, I've got to run, okay? The room is paid for till the morning, so feel free to stay as long as you like. Mrs. Hendon, Ramona, I... Yes, Benjamin? I... I had a nice time. Well, that's great to hear. And if you think of this as a beginning, you know when to reach me. search every inch of Spalding. I want you to check the rooftop patio. I want you to check the... Yes, every office there. Yes. My brother's been missing for over an hour. I'm... You Alexandra. Here. Here. Isn't it wonderful? Olivia has come back home. Oh, wonderful. Where did you find him? He found me. Well, listen, darling, why don't you go up and make sure that the maids have changed all the linens and... Will you come up there? Give me just a minute, okay? Then I'm gonna have to hurry back to work. Okay, but uh, don't forget to bring the plans. Uh, San Cristobal. It's going to be an amazing project. Almost as amazing as you are. Five minutes. I don't believe this. Philip said he was under a lot of stress, but he's completely delusional. Alan needs rest. No, a lot of Alexandra, rest. he needs a doctor. And if you don't call one, I will. Dr. Mel Boudreau, please. It's Alexandra Spaldi calling, and this is an emergency. Yes, Dr. Boudreau. I'm gonna have to get back to you. I'm in the middle of something. Yes, but this is important. Look, my brother has become irrational. He doesn't know what day it is, what month it is. He doesn't even know where he is, what he's doing. Well, discontinue all medication and bring him in. We'll have somebody run some blood work. Blood work? Is that absolutely necessary? I mean, you have so plenty of blood work on him, don't you? We have to determine whether it's physical or chemical. Just get him in here. Well, I'm afraid my, my brother's in no condition to leave the house. 
Well, we'll send a nurse as soon as we can, but I'm in the middle of an emergency. Oh, no, don't worry. I, 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 you know, I think I can get our doctor to get these blood samples and get them over to you right away. Oh, good. Think fast, Alex. Don't be a baby about this. It's all for your own good. All finished. Good. And you'll make certain that Dr. Boudreaux gets these samples right away. First the lab, then Dr. Boudreaux. Oh, good. Well, thank you for coming over, and thank Dr. Kirby for his cooperation. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> you too, Mr. Spalding. Sorry about that, Lloyd. It's all for a good cause. As if anyone should suspect that Alan's condition was artificially created, we'd have a big problem on our hands, wouldn't we? Yeah, I used to play in the sandlot all the time with the boys when I was a kid. And the coach actually told me that I needed to, like, go learn how to bake cookies or do ballet or something, which was so ridiculous, because I was clearly, like, one of the best players on the team. I mean, ugh, around the, around the horn, long toss, double pump. I was born to play ball. I was just, you know, born in the wrong body. If that's the wrong body, then oh, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, shut up. You know what I mean. I just had so many ideas about the way that the game should be played. Maybe you could teach me a thing or two. Yeah, maybe I could. Hey. Hey, Ben, where have you been? Look, Harley got shot. She's in the what? hospital. I knew I should have stayed it's here with fine. you. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, Shane was here. Right. Thanks. Yeah. I guess I gotta better go check on uh, stuff yeah. in there. See how things yeah. are. You okay. Yeah. So, uh, how did it, how did it go with uh, Mrs. Hendon? Did she give you something challenging to do? Yeah, you could say that. Good. Uh, where, where's my my handkerchief? Then the one I gave you. Oh, man, I, I... I must have left it at the uh, office. Benjamin! Ben, are you still here? Oh, I forgot my, um... I guess it's just as well. I can't wait anymore. What? No, wait, I wait. I can't wait anymore. Doctors. What is wrong with you? Take it easy. Okay. We're getting ready to move her to the OR to remove the bullet. So she's okay, right, Mel? I'm going to go check the room. Mel? All right. It's possible liver involvement. The good news is that we got the bleeding under control and she's stabilized for now. Okay, so once she has the surgery, she's going to be fine, right? That's what we're hoping for, Frank, but we're still worried about infection. There's a possibility the bullet could move and, and cause further damage. But her chances, how are they? They're good. She's tough. Because I have all the faith in the world in her. You know, once you look at him, he doesn't have a scratch on him. Francis is friend. laying in there. You know what? If he wasn't such a cowboy, she wouldn't be there he right now. He didn't mean for her to be hurt like this. That's why he's so dangerous. I know he didn't mean for that to happen that way, but you know what? That's what ends up happening. Frank Harley doesn't need this. What, what do you know what she needs? I should have done a better job protecting my own sister. You know what? He would have taken the bullet before everybody knows that. He disobeyed a direct order. I swear if anything happens to Sis, losing his badge would be the least of his worries. in my place, but... Well, has that ever stopped you before? Look, it wasn't your fault. If the situation was re reversed, Harley would have done the same thing to save you. Yeah, but I didn't save her, did I? She's 
gonna be fine. You heard Dr. Bauer. Mom? Good news, um, Rick just came out and he said that Harley's chances look good, so it looks like she's gonna be... No. Something's gone wrong. What? Harley is in terrible trouble. Mom, um, what are you talking about? What, are you, are you okay? Can't breathe. She can't breathe. It's dark. Everything is so dark. Oh, no. Harley! Come on, she's, she's arrested! Crash car, let's get in here. Come on, folks, you know the drill. Let's move it. Come on! Yeah, let's come on. go! Give me the ambulance. Get the meds right. I want an happy right away. Come on, let's go. Let's get it set up. Let's go. Give me the epi. Give me the epi. All right. You set? Charge of 200. Clear. Three hundred. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Move it. Clear. We're losing Come her. On. No, we're not losing her. Three sixty. Let's go. Three sixty. Get another app. This has been Guiding Light.